Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome back to Planescape Torment Enhanced Edition. Uh, well, yeah, we're in the uh, buried, the buried village, looking for Farad. But one thing before I get too far into it is I need to make sure I'm gonna go back up to the map ahead of this and see if there's anything else in the trash warrens that I need to pick up. And then I'll come down and rest in uh, in the seamstress's place. Yeah, it looks like I got everything except for that that portal. I don't know that I've been up here. Yeah, I have. That's where the portal opened. Alright, that's not where I need to go, I get Well, maybe it is. All right. Let's, let's check over here. Let's see where this gets to. Let's see where that leads me. Tr trash warrens. Oh! Uh-oh. It leads to cranium rat area. Okay. There's a lot of these, so give me a moment. Endure. In enduring, grow strong. Yes, they can absolutely cast. That's not great. Alright, so that one's down. That one's down. That one's down. Let's whittle their numbers down real quick. I hear your words. Got that magic missile going on. Oh god, he's almost dead. Use a clock charm. And he's dead. Um, tell you what, I'm gonna reload because we were just here. I was gonna say, give me a moment. Which one I got here? There we go. And before I go down there, I'm actually gonna like heal up. Dak on. Before I go in there. Oh, you can you can select them to use on somebody else. Okay, I think that's going to be enough. I just need enough to su to sustain that first group of magic missiles. Yeah, I probably need to go in here too. Hold on a second. What's in here? Fist irons. Okay, maybe I can sell those. Yeah, let's go deal with those cranium rats because it's experience. I'm gone. And potentially loot. Spells. Submerge the will. In the man's name. Oh, I have raised the dead. I could have just used that. All right, sure. All right, you go here. I will you go hear here. You. What's and up? You go here. All right, they're just aiming at Morty for the moment. That's fine with me. Die. On. Balance. Deck on. All yeah. And around. Oh, it's just Hummel and Morty. Morty. Use. Alright, 
Alright, this time, uh, Nameless One, you need to use him. Did Morty just die? What is up with Morty? Oh, is he like berserk or something? These rat tails. Done. The trash in this room has been piled in such ways to form a pocket within the trash mountain. And what do we get? What do we got? Oh, we got clot charms to replace the ones I got. Magic missile scroll, a prickly club, and a silver frame. <sighs> First, let's copy the spell. Sadistic frame invokes pain mirror. When you use this item, cause an attacker to feel the same pain and hurt that he has inflicted upon the user. It must be used from the quick items, and I strongly suspect is a single use. Identify this with a spell. Club of Nettles. It's a uh, 1d6 crushing, causes confusion, plus 2, usable only by thieves. So, I'll, I guess I'll hold that. But, All right. that's actually really nice. Let's, let's go down here. I got some nice thief stuff, so the issue is I don't know if I'm going to have Anna in the party. I don't have a thief in mind for the party. I might have to pick Anna. So that calls for a quick save. Okay, there's the entrance to Farad's court, so Done. going down here... Let's go down here just to loot stuff. I'll be taking that. That leads somewhere else. Already looted that. Leg Bone Club. I don't know if I need that, but I'm taking it. Where does this go? Okay, what's in here? Small dwelling. Oh, crap. With cranium rats. I'm wounded. What? I hear your words. What's All up, right. Chief? I will hear you. What's the word, Chief? Let's get them before they can cast spells on me. What's you up? You keep looting the rat tails, thank you. Done. Nothing in here. Great. All right. Well, we got Farad's court. Curious and curious. Here we go. How big is this map? Not very big. Well, there's Farad. Yo, Farad. 
Before you is an elderly man leaning heavily upon a crutch. His left leg is twisted as if he tried to walk two directions at once and paid the price. His maggoty colored skin is bunched heavily upon his skull and flecked with liver spots. He is mumbling and smacking his lips as his eyes make a circuit of the room. Updated my journal. Aha! The man's eyes light up as he hears your voice. Tisn't my steady crop of jink come to Farad's waiting arms again. Greetings, corpse. He smiles a wicked grin. Have you come to ask Farad for another jaunt into the mortuary walls? I've come for information. I've been told that you know something about me. Know something about you? The light in Farad's eyes dims. He studies for you for a moment. Uh, he studies you mumbling slightly as his eyes flicker up and down your frame. Corpse? No. Yes. His eyes meet yours. Ah, uh, no. What is it? Farad's studying you with dead, a dead even gaze. Tisn't a mummer's fair, corpse. No time for games. No time for Farad to play the wheel. What are you asking the questions for? I've forgotten myself and I was told to seek you out that you would know something of me. Eh, Farad licks his lips. They, ma the, uh, they make a rasping sound like dry parchment on sand. Now who told you such a thing, corpse? Well, no one told me exactly. There were tattoos on my back. They were told me to seek you out if I ever forgot myself. Ah, so little said, so much told. Farad falls silent and suddenly... You have a feeling Farad is dissecting you like a corpse in a mortuary slab. I know much you would know. Much, yes. Much indeed. Farad smiles slowly, the folds of flesh in his face peeling back like a curtain. What do you know of me? Farad licks his lips, then settles himself upon his crutch like a vulture. No, no, not for free. The question you ask. His pasty white hands tap the edge of his crutch. Much, I can tell you, but the telling has a cost. Farad taps the flagstones with his crutch and sneers. The village is not all that lies buried beneath Ragpicker's Square. Chambers, vaults, corridors, filled with the dead, all asleep in their coffins. Somewhere in those halls, somewhere there, lies something misplaced, something mine. A small thing, a trinket, such a trifle. As far as speaks, his words start echoing as if two people were speaking. You know you've heard them before, from your own lips. It's a sphere, made of bronze, ugly, feels like an egg to the touch, and it smells of rotten custard. Am I right? Farad falls deathly silent for a moment, then nods. Yes, how much do you hide from me, corpse? He chuckles. Did you return to see if I remember what it is I want? Do you know where this spear is? Ah, Farad's sigh is like a shifting sand. And why do you suppose I ask you to look for it, corpse? I do not know where it is. I know it is very deep, far deeper than any villager has ever gone. Farad tisks. It may be in the catacombs where the water, waters run deep, deep. All right, very well, I'll do it. But I want to know why I'm, what I'm buying with this trinket. There's a lot of knowing rattling around in my brain box, corpse. He holds a withered finger. One of them is this bit of wisdom. Everyone wants something, whether they know it or not. There's much I know about you, much that you would want to know. Alright. Very well. Very well. A deal struck, a deal made. Farad cracks his crutch sharply against the, the flagstones. A sphere for a peek inside my brain box. Now, corpse, there's no time to waste. Go to the gate at the south and, uh, and east and tell those slumbering fools to open it for you. Make haste, make haste. I'll enter the gate now Updated and enter the my journal. But... Oh, is it down here? No, it's outside. Let me go... Let me go take a... Take a nap over at the seamstress's place. I'm gone. can memorize some additional spells. Sorry, I'm okay. gone. Can I rest here? Marta home. Marta sleep here. You can sleep in if, if you want. Yes, I don't think Marta have a problem. Does you, Marta? She shakes her head. No, no, Marta doesn't. I doesn't if you doesn't. Rested for one day and zero hours. Let's go down into the depths.
Wait, who here? Who's this? This sour-faced, middle-aged man starts when you approach him and reaches for a belt. Finding no weapon there, he simply backs away from you. You can see that beneath his collector's robes, his lower legs and forms are swathed in filth-encrusted bandages. What you want? Answers for questions? Who are you? Name's Uir, as if it mattered down here. Uh, other questions? What are you doing? Waiting for my wounds to heal up so I can make another run down below. I sells the stuff I found find down there. Down below? Down in the catacombs where all the dead debtors is. Say, you going down there any time? Perhaps why? Because I lost my lucky knife, he grunts angrily, stomping his foot. It's been with me for years, right here. He points to an empty sheath as a belt. So what happened to it? I was poking around in the catacombs below and ran smack into a ghoul. Must have been a straggler, because there's usually more than one. He bit at my face, so I covered up with my arms and stabbed him in the eyes. He dropped and bit my leg for a while before I shake the piker off and made it back up here. I'll bring my, your, my back your knife if I see it down there. Would you? I'd be grateful, so I would. It's got my name carved into the handle. All right. I must take my leave now. Let's let's see about going down. Is this where I need to go? This is not where I need to go. Is this where I need to go? All right. Bar. You see a massive human dressed in cast-off patchwork clothing and reeking of old ale. He is truly huge. It's obvious he was chosen for this job for his brawn, not his brains. Farad gave me his leave to go down the catacombs and need you to open the gate. He strings open the gates. Then get going, Burke, and don't waste our time. All right, thank you very much. We go into the catacombs. Oh no, I saw a cranium rat. Done. I'll be taking those covers. An enemy sighted. Just one. No, that's more than one. There's more than one cranium rat there. What's this? Dead body. The corpse lies motionless. No amount of prodding or, or poking induces it to say or do anything. This is not a zombie then. This corpse is fairly fresh, within the last couple of weeks or so anyway. In large parts of it have been gnawed away by rat teeth. The forehead skin on the corpse looks like someone really brained this poor sod. You nudge it with your toe and it flops around bonelessly. Oh, this is gonna suck, isn't it? Enemy sighted. There's one cranium in that. I'm gonna look here first. Vargoyles. Oh god, there's a bunch of them. Okay, uh. Balance in all things. Wait for them. Done. Wait, there's a corpse here. Just shuffling this stuff around a little bit. Oh, these things are these things taking a lot of damage. Not too much damage. Nice experience. Getting the next one in line. Time to grab the bandages off that body. This corpse lies motionless, no amount of prodding, etc. Gets it to do anything. I got more lesser vargoyles. Alright, come on. Alright, it's down. Now we go to the next one. Oh, I forgot to get my AC up. I'm gone.
to give me some AC to work with here. Yeah, Vargoyles are like flying heads. Alright, come on. Whittle them all down. What do we got in here? We've got a claw. What's the claw do? That's a shamanic rod. It's a magic missile. It's a magic missile spell. Magic missile one, basically. All right. Where do we go in here? Dismembered crypt. Grating is her crusty Done. old blood. These holes, something into the darkness. You can hear something moving down below. The stench of rotting meat rises from them. Oh my god, Dakon's almost dead. Your reasons for your incestuous are not known to me. Yeah, let's, uh... Bandage him up a little bit. Make sure I don't die. Cause I don't got no thief. Done. Alright, what do we got in here? We got a leg bone club and a skull. Oh, this just goes down to where? The under chamber where there are cra there's a cranium rat. They're running from me. All right. Some now malfunctioning machinery that governs the things above. This body has been horribly mangled. It looks like it's been burned, stabbed, sliced, bludgeoned, and forced through a grate. It's in two halves, lying in a crushed pool of old blood. What's over here? A severed, a magical severed arm. Oh, there's tattoos on it. Okay, good. Let's head back up. Done. And I guess avoid that stuff. Get the hell out of here. All right. And Vargoyles again. Damn. Come on. You see that? All right, did we put it down? Is just one more? Yeah, okay. How big is this place? Ah, it's big enough, but not too big. Damn it. Die. Might take a couple sessions to get through. Oh, what's yeah. in here? Okay. Nothing! Done. As you pass one of the twisted stone faces in the walls, 
It calls out to you in a creaking voice that sounds like the shifting of boulders. Immortal, regard me. I am Glive. I would have words with you. How do you know I am immortal? I see a burning purpose within your shell. I see many things in the falling dust of these tunnels. You lack something essential, and that keeps you from death's sweet embrace. What did you want to say to me? Listen, this place holds much danger for you. Treachery awaits you on the surface, and your way is long and winding. At the end, you will find what you have sought, but you may not want it then. Are you some sort of oracle? Oracle? No, I observe. That is all. Can you answer some questions I had? How did you come to be in this situation? I was once a respected leader of my community in the lower ward. A petty lord, I sought to increase his power at the expense of my. Uh, petty lord sought to increase his power at the expense of my people, my friends, my relatives, and I. My friends and friends, I, s I spoke against him. And then what? And then he captured me one by one and bound our spirits and scenes into these screaming faces under the ditch where all the filth and sigil comes eventually. And then he let out the let the polluted waters above flow through our mouths and noses and eyes. Is there anything I can do to help? I am cursed to remain here until fresh water passes my lips. There's a magical flask of water in the drowned nations. Bring it to me and give me a taste of it and I shall tell you of something. Someone who can help you unlock its full potential and you shall never walk lack for water again. Where is this flask? Updated my journal. I do not know. There was an artist named Chad who frequented these tunnels. He knew. Find him and he may tell you. And how do I get there? Through the dead nations where the dead walk and rule. Or through the warrens of thought where the many is one. Oh god. There's a cranium rat. Hold sway. Neither is without its risks. Dead nations? The dead have achieved life in their own way. They rule a portion of these catacombs. They struggle with many as one for the heart of these tunnels. And how about many as one? You have heard of cranium rats? When they gather, they become more powerful, a shared mind. They and their servants, were rats, seek mastery of these under tunnels. They war with the dead nations. Tell me more of the catacombs. The catacombs were carved aeons ago to house the dead of the city who did not wish the tender administrations of the dustmen. They have become the refuse ground of the city, where dwell monsters barely seen, where humans prowl like scavengers among the scavengers. Many as one patrols these tunnels, and has turned many against their natures. The dead nations prowl as well, guarding against the depredations of the humans who come among them. Uh, thanks, Glyde. Farewell. Don't need any of that. A random dead dude. Need some copper. And where does this head? To the mosaic crypt. I'm gone. These caps are rusted to the ground and cannot be opened. This container is locked. Well, I got something for that, don't I? Don't I? No, I didn't. I didn't memorize knock. Damn it. That's not cool. Alright, hold on a second. Open it. Force this. On. No, force this open. Forced it. All right, got it. Money and a sledgehammer. A magic sledgehammer. Can't run while I'm carrying all this. Oh, wait. Got to give this to somebody who can carry it. Let's go. I'm gone. Better than nothing. Do I want to just go around the edge here? Well, there's Vargoyles. They just respawn every time I go to a different map. They're a nice experience, so that'd be good if, if so. But... Oh, I thought that one died. My bad. Deck on. We're gonna level you up. Nice. I'm gone. And cranium rats. All right. 
Well, where's Dekon? All the way over there. Done. Got nothing in here. Well, there's zombies. Are these cranium rats attacking me or not? They're not casting at me. Yes, they are attacking me. Alright, not terrible. More cranium rats, but they can wait a moment. We got around here. This sandy-haired collector's corpse is covered with nasty bites. The dead man's neck still rides if we're trying to twist itself off its body. That's interesting. To the dead nation's catacombs. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of uh, a lot of rats. Knows that it suffers. Why? Even when the mind does not. All right, you switch targets. Got two more. On the blasted plains, Zuthamon told Jeff that there cannot be two skies. Got to level up on Morton. The wake of his words. Game war. Oh, is is he regaling us with a with a parable? What's up? Or at least the start of one. Get that leveling up on for Morty. Okay. Done. So what's down here? Got some bandages and some copper commons. And some bandages and some embalming fluid. Continuing on our way, since this is a, a proper dungeon crawl and all that. Oh, a were-rat! Can we even hit these? Bite's not working on this thing. Bite's not working on this thing. All right, Morte can't hit. Bite's not hurt. working on this thing. How's about this? The swarm curse you. Zerths are those that know the words of Zerthamon. And that's reign of anger. The gifts of Rai communities against all threats. What they got guys. Can I even hit these things? Alright, so Dakon can. I should be able to. Yeah, I was gonna say. Let's get those, uh, those clock charms back. I will take a were rat skull or two. Thank you. I'm gone. So what the hell is down here? To the Warrens of Thought, which I do not need to go to right this instant. I'm just gonna finish this level, I think, and then figure out where to go next time. Let's take this one cranium rat. Done. A 
smiling bottle invokes Elysium, her, Elysium's tears. Okay, so it's like a uh, ranged right. attack. No! Zapped. These cranium rats. Huh? Man, that almost ruined me. I had one hit point left. Wow. Well, there's a ghoul. Oh. I got another one. Come on up after me. Take it down. I will hear you. Well, I still haven't found that lucky knife. Nice gold ring. Balance in all things. Your path is mine. This leads up to the Crypt of the Embrace, and this goes to the Shattered Crypt. Done. I feel like I should try to rest. But I can't, really. I can exit this place and then come back down. Exit this place, rest, and then go into those two tom tombs. Those crypts, rather. There we go. Took that one down. Thank you. What? All right. Done. Uh, not yet. I open the door. Oh, these. Oh, what a group of a holes. Okay, that's that's fine. Let's get down here. Done. I'm gonna check out those two crypts and then probably call it. Maybe I can rest in one of the crypts. Who knows? Try this one. Crypt of the Embraced. Blood smears leading to the largest coffin. All right. Enemy sighted. Oh, a ghoul? No, multiple ghouls. All right. We are damaged, so use the clock charm. Use the clock charm. And Dakon got owned. Well. Did I not just save? And I hate to save scum like that, but. I thought I just quick saved, didn't I? Oh crap, I'm two ghouls short. Alright. That goes to the Warren of Thought. Let me go ahead and do this real quick. See how fast I can get through here. Let's see about healing up a little bit. All right. Now that I know I can't go rest.
Morton just got tagged. What's up? Clear this. I will hear you. All right. And one more ghoul. Go ahead and heal up. What? So I can always buy more clot charms. Calls for a quick save and clear this tomb. I'm gone. Back on. Do you want to come down here, please? I'm hurt. Use it. Use it. Is it just me, or do these guys have a ton of hit? There's one of them. Oh, a battle axe of quality. That seems relatively nice. Yeah, these are high-end things. Bone dagger. That's just a, a general upgrade for me. Yeah. I'll take it. And I got two magic items. All this. And they are much, much more, much more sturdy than regular ones. Heart train. This is the corpse of a man with a surprised look on his beak, nose, face. It's hard to tell how he died, whether from the numerous horrific slash wounds across his abdomen and throat, or from the blood loss that occurred when his right arm was nearly severed from his shoulders. Oh, there's gotta be a way to talk with the dead here at some point. I've got one more. The Shattered Crypts. All right. Oh no, that's our bargoyles. All right, that target's gone. Getting swarmed. Target's gone. Fine, target's gone. Need to get some heals up. Keep going. I'm hurt. One's down. Man, I'm just getting getting tagged here. Use last of these bandages. I'm hurt. Yeah, I wish I had some reliable AoEs. Use that clock charm. I hear your words. Power of one yourself. Name. 
almost out of clock charms. You need to get yourself uh, fists of iron up, please. Oh no! These things are just wrecking me. I absolutely need to rest. I'm hurt, damn it. But do these things just keep coming? Last pot trunk. No, it's not. I got another one. Can we, can we, like, just at least get a little progress here? This can go to the nameless one. Got the swarm curse. Well, what can I do? Heart churn. Gonna have to use it to basically heal up again. Let's go ahead and get uh, corpse fly charm. No. Um, embalming fluid. One foot in the grave. Come on, can we just, like, please take these down? Alright, that target's gone. That target's gone. We're almost through. Roughest fight so far. Target's gone. All right. What do we got? One more. No, we got two more. Target gone. Damn. And that target's gone. Quick save the game. Well, there's another one. down. Let's see what's in there. 510 copper. Punch daggers of Moorin. That looks like it could be useful. Die. So I guess that just keeps... They keep coming and, unless you, you do what you need to do. Okay. Well, I've cleared this area. Let's see if I can't get back through that gate. Like bribe them to let me back out to heal up or something. No. 
I don't have, but I have something you might be interested in. How's about 10 coins? 25 coins. How about 50 sound? Here you go, you'll find us all there. Have him reach for it, grab it, it's in your, and it's yours. Uh, grab his arm and pin it. As you reach for the coins, you try to grab his arm. Okay, well that didn't work. How about 50 copper sound? You find us all there. And he opens the gate so I can go through and rest. I'm gone. I can not only rest, but I can go ahead and sell some stuff and head back down. Because I guarantee you I have more than 50 uh, copper worth of crap on me now. Let's heal up. I make sure I got my spells memorized. Ooh, I can memorize another power of one. And I can memorize another scripture of steel. Nice, nice. Actually, I can't memorize any level three stuff, right? No. I'm gone. Yo, Marta, let's heat let's let's let me rest. Thank you. And on that note, right. I am going to wrap up here and we will continue to explore later on. Until next time, take care and goodbye. And if you are still watching, I would like to take the opportunity to thank my supporters, the top tiers of which are listed on the screen, without whose support I would not have been able to offer the variety of content that I have on this channel throughout the years. If you're feeling particularly generous and would like to join them, you can support the channel. Uh, there are a variety of options to do so. I have a Patreon, a Subscribestar, as well as channel memberships enabled. If you are not in a position to contribute, simply leaving a like, a comment, or sharing my videos are all wonderful ways to help the channel grow without spending a dime and are all greatly appreciated.